Labor Day holiday, meteorologist Damon Singleton here with a check of your exact cast. Some showers in the area. Luckily, Damon got his crab boiling yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did. And you know, and most people can do it today. Uh, just the temperatures are going to be a little high. You know, I, I saw you cringe when I mentioned the uh, heat index values. I'll show you those again in just a second. But through our West Jeff Medical Center camera, we've got some pretty good conditions across most of the area. It's mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. But let me start by taking you out to the tropics and showing you that the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean are both in uh, pretty good shape. Nice and quiet. No activity out there. Out in the Atlantic, the only thing we still have is Tropical Storm Grace. And Grace is having a real hard time with a lot of uh, dry air, some Sahara dust that is out in this direction as well. And uh, Grace is going to continue to have those problems as uh, she tries to make her way across uh, the Atlantic. But here's a look at some of the dry air. The Sahara dust is uh, somewhat uh, depicted there. And there's, of course, those upper level winds that are keeping it from developing into anything, uh, anything more significant than it is. So a much less organized system than it was yesterday. Here's the National Hurricane Center forecast track on tropical storm grace 45 mile per hour winds westerly course at 17 miles per hour and it continues almost due west towards uh, Puerto Rico that's the National Hurricane Center forecast track here's a global forecast model showing you a similar route only it takes it a little bit further towards Puerto Rico than up towards the Turks and Caicos and possibly into the Bahamas um, by a week from today so we're going to follow this very closely and we'll keep you as up to date as possible on grace not expecting that to become a hurricane for us today hot and humid once again isolated showers and storms some scattered rainfall in the area Wednesday through Friday and possibly into the weekend across most of the southeast United States some pretty good conditions We've got uh, some showers and storms moving across the upper Mississippi Valley if you are headed to Florida today not a great Labor Day across all of Florida with this low pressure area out in the Gulf of Mexico throwing all that moisture across uh, all of Florida that's going to continue this afternoon and uh, possibly a little bit into tomorrow but for us here in southeast Louisiana we are mostly dry except when we get over towards St. Bernard Parish some of that rainfall trying to make its way into Plaquemines Parish. If you headed to City Park, looking pretty good out there. Some partly cloudy skies, and there's a chance you might see a little bit of rain, but only about a 20% chance. Uh, for St. Bernard Parish, here's that storm that's making its way across that area. It's actually uh, starting to rain itself out just a bit because it was uh, much more uh, menacing a little while ago. But it's uh, going to continue to make that uh, southwesterly course and then kind of dissipate as it makes its way over Plaquemines Parish. So for the AFL CIO picnic today, probably about 92 degrees for an afternoon high out there in City Park. Hot and humid conditions. The heat and the humidity are probably going to be bigger issues for you than the rain will. Here's a look at the temperatures outside right now. We're in the upper 80s to the low 90s, both north and south of the lake, the Mississippi Gulf Coast as well. Factor in the humidity that we have right now. Temperatures feels like mid 90s on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, feels like 95 in Slidell. Over in Bell Chase and at the airport, it feels like 97 degrees. And over in Galliano, it feels like 95 degrees. So it is another hot day here in the Crescent City. We'll probably see some temperatures very similar to what we had yesterday, but not much rainfall around this afternoon. Models not picking up on much of that potential north or south of the lake. I've got our rainfall chances at about a 20% chance today and about a 20% chance tomorrow. Later on tonight by 9 p.m., our temperatures are back in the upper 70s to the low 80s. And tomorrow morning, we'll wake to temperatures very similar to where they were this morning in the low to mid 70s. Here's a quick look at your seven day forecast. And as you can see, the rainfall chances are on the way up towards the end of the week and into the weekend. Gina, back to you.